I am measuring first swimming performance, so how fast the fish swim, and growth measurements. We are looking at genetic differences between domesticated trout and wild trout and determining how those genetic differences potentially can impact the health and well-being of the wild trout. The rainbow trout populations in Washington is very important to the state overall economically and I think it's also good to the state in terms of just the, 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 the Washington has a, an, out, an outdoor uh, ethos uh, that people like to go out and, and do things and I think for both those reasons it's, it's important that uh, we maintain uh, healthy rainbow trout populations. If you're eating fish, then it's definitely important and relevant for the conservation of this species as a whole. The swimming performance definitely applies to the survivability of these fish. I use a net from their individual tanks and I put them into the swim tunnel and then I remove a barrier and startle the fish. That's when they race up the track. It's important for the fish for the survivability of the fish. The fish needs burst swimming performance in order to get upstream, in order to cross those small barriers such as rocks or small waterfalls. Also in order to eat and be able to survive predator interactions. The data we have suggests that hatchery uh, fish are, are slower and uh, sort of less aware of predators than a wild fish would be. So I think a hawk would have a much better opportunity to catch a hatchery fish than a wild fish.